they like to keep the express going forward. I've always thought if there were more journalists like Steve Dunleavy, the newspaper business wouldn't be as bad as it is. Thank you, man. Thank you so much for all the memories and the good times. And thank you for teaching me what journalism is really all about. I don't know that I ever heard a bad word about Steve Dunleavy. He was just a, a great person. You are an amazing guy. I learned a lot from you. I love you. We are, as you know, a very special uh, uh, occasion to honor a wonderful journalist, a great career, and an even better man. It was overwhelming tonight. It was overwhelming. Uh, I've never heard such accolades, and I don't, I don't know whether I deserve them. Your dedication uh, to your work, your inspiration to others, um, your loyalty to the company or the paper that you're working at, that absolutely the pie description was exceptional. I've never seen the like of it in all my life. There's nothing better than to get praised or at least celebrated by not only your peers, but people who you think are uh, far, far superior in talent than I am. You never forgot the people of New York. I'll never forget you. Your style of writing, your heart, and your care about all of us in the NYPD, FDNY, and the whole city of New York. You're a true guy. I love you, your hump. We all lived in a bubble, and the bubble lasted for, what, 10 years, Beanie? No, uh, all, all our lives. All our lives, all our all lives adult basically. Lives. The bubble and, lasted uh, all our adult lives. As long lives. as we see his face, it'll never bust. Exactly. So, thank you, Steve. We love you forever. From the NYPD and the NY, we'd like to thank you for everything that you've ever done. When the bones get a little bit creaky, uh, you can't stay at the dance too long. He worked hard. He played hard. When I when I saw him passed out in a in a restaurant one time, and I went this is my first day, I went running to the scene. I said, "Oh my God, I think Steve's. I think there's a guy who's sick in there." The guy runs in. He says, "Oh no, it's just Steve. He's just not feeling well. He'll be all right." Writing is a very lonely profession. I don't like being lonely. So I may read a book, or I've known so many mob guys. I may make book, and we'll see how it goes. It's a tough business.